In Egypt, voting in the presidential election has been extended to a third day, held over not by popular demand, but because hardly anyone is voting. Clarissa Ward reports tonight from Cairo. Egypt's government tried to entice voters out today with a surprise national holiday, but turnout was still low. It was an unexpected setback for Field Marshal Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, who was expected to win a landslide victory. The outcome of this election was always known, but the big surprise yesterday and again today is what you see around me. No lines outside the polling stations. Inside was just as quiet. After several minutes, the official in charge here became nervous and told us to stop shooting. Because there's no one here, we asked? Yes, he said. Okay. Hala Shukrala, a liberal opposition party leader, told us the low turnout was revealing. I think a lot of, a lot of people uh, don't feel they really have a role to play, that this has already been decided for them. Sisi and the Egyptian military orchestrated the overthrow of President Mohamed Morsi 10 months ago. Since then, authorities have launched a massive crackdown on any form of dissent. Tens of thousands have been arrested, more than 1,300 killed. Demonstrating in Egypt is now a crime. The only sign of protest during this election was red paint symbolizing blood splattered across CC posters. Are you alarmed when you look at the larger crackdown? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely alarmed. It means that we are going towards a path that is continuously closing the, the room, the space for disagreement. And if that happens, you are leading us once more to an explosion. Clarissa, this government seems almost embarrassed by the low turnout. Certainly they appear to be, Nora. Cairo's largest mall closed early today to try to push people out to the polls, and they've even threatened to find people who don't vote. Clearly, they're concerned about comparisons to the election in 2012, which drew huge crowds. For them, this is really an issue of legitimacy and a presidential mandate. Clarissa Ward, thank you.